Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own paperback book on Amazon Direct uh, Publishing. So Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. So we're going to start with um, this web page. Um, you can find it at kdp.amazon.com and you're going to have to create your own um, account for this and that takes a little bit of time you're going to do some tax forms and stuff so that when you make money on your book Amazon can send you the right forms since it's through their platform but um, it's really not too difficult to upload your designs and your book to create a listing on Amazon for your book so I have a book out right now called the minimalist baby book it's a journal and record keeper and what we're going to do today is I created a blue, um, a cute blue cover and I already have one. I have two editions out um, of that book. One is with a floral cover and one is with a green cover. And so I'm going to do a blue cover now so that people who are expecting babies and might want to purchase my book will have a blue more maybe like um, just a different option for them if they want something different. So we're going to start on this page and um, the first thing you're going to do is, well, when I scroll down, see, we have my, my book right here and I want to do the exact same content on the inside and just a different um, cover on the outside. So I've already, I'm just going to start with create new title. I've already, um, have my PDF file that has my manuscript in it and I already have a PDF file of my cover art. So this um, video is really only to show you how to upload it and to create your listing. The other two pieces I did ahead of time to prepare for this. So we're going to start with pa create paperback. And even though I am creating that, I'm just kind of making a new version of the paperback book that I already have out. This is going to be like it's fresh. It's just brand new. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my title. The Minimalist Baby Book, a Record Keeper and Journal. So this book is really for parents who just they don't want to do a scrapbook baby book. They don't want to cut out pictures. They don't want to worry about printing, but they do want to have a place to keep records of their baby's growth, of um, just funny things that your kid says when they become a toddler and a preschooler, and a part where we can, as a parent, just kind of write down memories from the whole year. Like what happened, what are some things that I can remember when my kid was two? And just write down the memories of the whole year instead of it being like, when they were one month, they did this. When they were two months, they did this. I have four children, and the books, the baby books that I have for them were um, a lot of work, and it's hard. A lot of parents go into um, the baby time, and they think, I'm going to do this baby book for them, and they just, it's too much, you know? It's too much. Having a little kid is a lot of work on its own. But I know, for me, I really want to remember those times. Um, so I'm trying to make a book that makes it easier for people to do that, to keep the records that they want to keep, to keep the memories, but not feel overwhelmed with a scrapbook type baby book. So I'm putting in my name as the author and then down here is the description and I'm actually on my other screen here that you guys can't see. I'm just going to copy my description from my current listing and paste it in here. So it just says straightforward baby book for minimalist parents looking to record baby's milestones and development, adorable quotes, and other special memories without crafting an entire scrapbook. Smart design with charts for quick data keeping and lined journal pages for rec recording memories or writing letters to your child as they grow. And it's set up to have a lot of flex room for however you really want to use it as a parent. Um, so I own this copyright. This is not a public domain work. Public domain works are usually like classic literature or any type of written work that um, the author has been deceased for over 100 years and their work goes into public domain. And a lot of people use this Amazon Direct Publishing to publish um, 
public domain works with like a twist or with a cool new cover or art or something like that. So that's a really great idea if you're looking for, to do something like that as well. So I'm going to put some keywords in here. Um, whoop. I think I hit something because it clicked to the top. Baby growth charts, feeding charts. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll just even take out baby. Um, journal. Record keeper, I, new parents, expecting parents. I um, did this for the last one and I don't remember what I put on there. So I'm making up new ones right now. And categories, you know, this isn't really, it's non education and reference. My goodness, I'm not really sure that it, falls into anything really because it's not um, because it's more of a journal type book it doesn't have a lot of content it's more like prompts and stuff for parents that it doesn't really fall into a typical book category so we're gonna put non-classifiable and here's where it comes out again low content book journals notebooks planners this is totally what this book is it's a real it's like a framework for parents to fill in their own content does it um, include anything inappropriate for children under 18? No. Okay, so I'm going to save and continue. And this part cannot be changed after you publish. There's some things you can change after you publish, but that's not one of them. Um, we're going to go ahead and use, you know, today's date because it's all ready to go. And for um, for these type of options, it's really up to you. I'm using black and white. Um, interior with white paper. I already know what the book is going to look like because I got a proof from a previous edition, which I'll show you guys in a second. But um, so I know that I'm going to do trim size six by nine. We don't need to bleed on the inside. The cover will bleed, but I don't need to do that right here. So we're not going to bleed. Um, cover finish matte. I really like the matte finish cover. Okay, so I already have my content right here. I'm going to upload my manuscript content, which is um, already, I already have it uploaded for a couple, two, two other books. So I already know it's ready to go. It's going to look great. And I have my own cover. So you can launch Cover Creator. We can go ahead and look at this a little bit. I looked at it a little bit. I have um, a Canva account, which is a like a design um, on web platform. So I created my own covers through that, but there are ways, especially if you, um, you know, if you just want to, if you don't want to worry about designing something yourself through a different design software and creating your own, that this does have a nice, seems like easy to do. Um, I did start with it, but I didn't like the designs because I already had in mind something that I wanted my book to look like. So I didn't use those. Um, so, I'm going to click out of that and it takes me back to this screen. All right. Did not want to do for me. I didn't want to do cover creator. I have my own cover. So I'm going to uh, upload my cover and today we're going to do the blue cover. So it's going to upload right now. Okay, check this box if your cover includes a barcode. I do not have a barcode, so um, I'm going to leave that off. And I'm going to check the, I'm gonna launch the previewer right now and see what my book looks like. Okay, so here's the previewer, and this is showing me what my book's gonna look like. It's so cute, I love this. Little dinosaurs, a kind of light blue background. It has the same title as my other ones. And then I'm going to click through here just to make sure it looks the same. And it does. Here's what I'm going to prove because this looks great. It looks fantastic. I'm going to, to keep that. And now that I've approved it, I can scroll down. Everything looks great. Launch previewer. Um, the print, it's just going to show me the print costs and all these different Amazon platforms. I'm going to save and continue because I like this and we're going to go forward.
All right, so we have distribution rights all everywhere, and my primary marketplace is going to be uh, Amazon.com, and I have listed this book to be $12. Uh, for my previous editions, I'm gonna keep it that way. It's gonna tell me, it takes 72 hours for the book to become available to purchase. That is absolutely true, I have experienced that. Um, by clicking purchase, I confirm to, I agree in compliance with all of these. Read the terms and conditions, see if you agree. If you do, yes. And then um, you can request a proof. I happen to already know that um, what the book is gonna look like because I have my previous edition with the green cover. So I already know, I love the feel of it. It has like a soft cover. It's really easy to um, to lay flat. If I want to, I can, I can fold it to lay flat. And it just turned out really good. So I already know that I don't need a proof of the new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish my book. Okay, and there we go. This is what it's gonna look like when it's listed on Amazon. The Minimalist Baby Book, Record Keeper and Journal. So um, now I'll have three posted for this journal um, with three different covers and then they're gonna review it, they're gonna send me an email when it's ready, and uh, I'm not gonna do ebook right now, I'm gonna go ahead and close, and now my new book is going to fall in my list here, at the top, and it says in review. Um, I think actually that pink one, I'm gonna refresh, because I think the pink one, oh, I thought that one was ready, but maybe not, maybe it's just this one. So I'm waiting on my pink one to be ready and live and then I'll wait and I did that one a couple days ago so that should be that should be ready soon and then I have my blue one now that should be ready in a couple days too I'll get an email from Amazon when that happens and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my one of my listings okay so this is my green book listing and as you can see it is live and ready on Amazon so I have my um, it looks just like the other one and has all of the, data, the stats down here. This is my the, um, the description that I used. And um, yeah, if you wanna purchase it, if you are expecting or if you um, know somebody who's expecting who could benefit from a minimalist type journal for their child, then I would love for you to purchase it. Give me your feedback, tell me what you think. And I really hope that this was helpful for you just to even know how to upload a, a paperback book to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. Thanks, bye guys.